Greetings, fellow interloper. It's Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, back with another Interstellar Roundup. The series that takes you around the universe and gives you a look at ships, glitches, paradise planets, and fauna that you probably would never find otherwise. This, my friends, is Whiskey Barrel Gaming. This episode is sponsored by Pan Galactic Star Cabs. Visit any galaxy in the No Man's Sky universe without the hours of warping. All you need is a Discord account and an invite link, which I've left down in the video's description. Oh boy. I'm gonna be honest with you all, I'm really liking this episode. Some great stuff coming up, including one of my favorite fauna finds. You know, it, it takes a lot for me to delete one of my pets in order to make room for a new one, but this one is officially in the stable. I'm hoping you like it as much as I do, and if you don't, well, there's always episode 9, right? <laughs> Let's dive in. Today's featured galaxy is one you've actually heard of. That's right, friends. We're going back to Euclid. This is something we'll do from time to time when the mood strikes me. Mom always said, never forget where you came from, so it never hurts to visit our home galaxy from time to time. Our first stop takes us to, you guessed it, our stabilized reality glitch planet. Man, we're running out of reality glitches, aren't we? After this episode, unless they add more, uh, let's see, we'll be down to three remaining, I believe. We're headed to the planet Apley X, or 10, if you have a love of Roman numerals. Apley 10 is home to the Electric Cube, an awesome looking reality glitch which makes a great addition to any base. Depending on the planet, these can be pretty easy to find. You generally won't need your analysis visor since you most likely will identify them well before you get close enough to see the question mark. The nice thing is they distinguish themselves quite nicely from their surroundings with their greenish tint. See what I mean? It's also a bonus that they honestly don't seem that spread apart here, so you should have no trouble filling your pockets. I also came across a station with whispering eggs, so you might want to have that scatter blaster at the ready. Next up we'll swing by the trading post on planet Ibemia, our first featured Gek trading post, so you'll get to gawk at seven different haulers to complement the three fighters and explorers. Have fun! Next up, for our paradise planet, we'll be visiting Gaty 10, or X if you have a love of the English alphabet. This golden grassed planet has very nice, flat, wide open areas perfect for large base builds, or racetracks, or whatever else you have your sights set on building. 
It definitely gives off an autumn vibe with its beautiful coloring. Okay, without further ado, we are at our fauna planet, and there he is. I'm calling him Cubert for those old enough to remember the video game. Look at this guy. Completely awesome. I've seen a lot of blobs here and there, but none anywhere close to this cool. So I had to cut loose one of my one of my other guys, and, but I did pick up Cubert here. Oh, so cool. I mean, show, show me another companion <laughs> that is this much fun to ride. Honestly, got to be my favorite so far. Throw your favorite down in the comments. I'm really curious. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys can uh, get to this planet and find Hubert. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You can help me grow this channel by liking and, of course, subscribing. And if you enjoy fauna and playing with the egg sequencer, you gotta check out my series with Dr. Burkini. He forced me to use the name Egg Experiments. You'll see why. And if you want to visit any galaxy you want, make sure and check out my guide on catching a free Pan Galactic Star Cab. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, signing off.